I'm going to give you a, an overview of what you do with a brand new chisel and what sharpening gear I would recommend that you get. So if you're using an IBC, the easiest thing to do is to remove the handle before you start. That'll allow the chisel to lay flat. It'll also keep getting water on the wood handle. I'm going to start this process with my 1000 grit trend diamond plate. And what we have to do is get rid of the factory scratches that would otherwise leave a somewhat of a serrated edge. And I've got a 3 8 inch chisel. So when you're working with a narrow chisel, what you want to do is start, I always have the chisel on an angle like so. So as I move it forward and back, it doesn't have a tendency to roll. The narrower the chisels, they tend to be taller than they are wide. And if you hold your chisel like this and try to move it forward and back, it has a tendency to tip. So I hold it at about a 45 degree angle. Most of the pressure is right here on that crest, and then it eases off with each successive finger. As I move it forward and back, and what I'm doing is replacing factory grinding scratches with 1,000 grit scratches coming off of the diamond stone. As I move it forward and back, I slowly migrate to my left, and then I move back to the center. Now the reason we do that is if you stay in one spot, you'd end up with a ridge right here. So by moving from the center to the left, back to the center, you provide a blending area in here. You only need the first three quarters of an inch to be nicely polished. Now I never go from the center to the right because if you do, there just isn't enough reference surface left in order to stabilize the chisel. So I would do this, and depending on the size of the chisel and the condition of the chisel, it could take anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour, 45 minutes. Hence the reason I have a seat. I'm not going to go through the whole process now, but what you would do is continue to do this on the 1000 grit until the back of the chisel is a one solid, it tends to be a matte gray color. Once it's nice and uniform, then you can move from to your next grit. Now, if you're purchasing a sharpening kit, that's where you're going to have to come in and get a third stone. My routine sharpening, even on chisels, is 1,000, 16,000, and you're done. But in the initial preparation of the back, you can't remove 1,000 grit scratches with a 16,000 grit stone. Not in the amount of time that it's, you'd want to spend. So we introduce a 6,000 grit stone, simply replace the 16 with the 6,000 in the same heavy holder. Now, all of these ceramic stones need to be kept flat. They wear with use. So I use the 300 grit side of my trend diamond plate to go in there. And if you do it frequently, it's usually three to five seconds is all that it's going to take to bring that stone back to being flat. And you can tell when it's all white. Lubricate it with some Honrite. I use that same product in the sharpening. It inhibits water from rusting metal so it's safe on both. And then I would repeat the process starting with the tip of the chisel in the middle and now I'm working on a stone that wears unlike this diamond plate so it's even more important that you cover the entire stone in fact about 30 seconds into it I actually turn the stone around so that I'm evening out the wear the right side is always being used the left side is being used somewhat intermittently this way it balances out this the uh, wear and about a minute minute and 15 seconds into it I'd stop and reflatten, and then start again until I've replaced all of the 1,000 grit scratches with 6,000 grit. And the only way you can really tell that is it will be a nice uniform matte gray color. Once I've done that, then I put my 16,000 in the heavy holder. Same preparation process using the, three th the 300 grit side of the trend plate. Go in there and spend three to five seconds bringing that 16,000 stone back to being flat, lubricate it. How much time will it take? Depending on the condition of your chisel when you start and depending obviously on how wide it is. But on a 3 8 inch chisel I would spend expect to spend about 45 minutes start to finish. Once I'm done this I never touch the back of that chisel again with anything but my final stone, in this case, a 16,000. Now that's the process for preparing the chisel. Everybody has to do that when you get a chisel new if you want to improve the performance. But it's only a one-time procedure, so hopefully you'll never have to do it again. I say hopefully, as long as you never touch the back with anything but that extremely fine stone, you're good to go. 
Now, for the actual sharpening process, I'll put that chisel back together. Assuming I had already finished this, all of my future sharpenings are really simple. I start on the 1,000 grit, making sure my 16,000 is flat. Find the primary bevel. I like to keep the two hands tied together. Find the primary bevel. Elevate slightly. On narrow chisels, I just do little short forward and back strokes. If you try to do circular uh, process with a narrow chisel, you'll end up skewing, or it's quite easy to end up skewing the end of the blade, and you would want to keep it relatively square. So anywhere from 5 to 8 seconds on this until you can detect a slight burr on the back side of the blade, at which time you slip over here to the 16,000, register or find the primary bevel, come up just a little bit higher than you did on that previous stone, same short strokes forward and back, doesn't take any more than five to seven seconds. Then flip the blade over. I always set it down oh, here first and then tip it down under the front. Just a couple of seconds to remove the burr, wipe off the moisture, and you're good to go. And the second that that starts to break down, you're back over here. Another 10 to 20 seconds is all it takes. Learn to do this freehand, and sharpening won't be a pain. You'll do it as soon as you need it, and that's only going to make your work better because the sharper the tool, the less effort's required to push it through the wood. The less effort required means you have more control. And, of course, the more control you have, the better is going to be the result. Good luck.